But we also have times where I've got this one, but I want an exact copy of that one over here, right? So what would be, I mean, I don't want it, I want it the opposite version over there, not the exact one, right? If I want this exact one, I can just copy it, right? Yeah. Copy it, paste it, stick it. But if I do that, it's going to be exactly the same. So when I do that, and I flip it, yeah, my slots are the opposite sides. Right? So I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to use mirror to make that. So I'm going to go up here under patterns. And I have my linear patterns, circular patterns. In SolidWorks, we have a lot more types of patterns than we do in Fusion. But I also have my mirror there. So I'm going to go mirror. My mirror plane. And I'm going to pick that plane that was there. And since I drew my part centered on the origin, and I inserted it and just said enter, the origin plane is centered on it. But I could also, instead of picking that one, I could come down here into the box, pick its plane, just to make sure in case it gets moved. And then the component I want to mirror is this one. And so SolidWorks does this a lot. So they'll have the command, and they'll have this little next button. So they've got the check marks to say you're done. But they also have this where you can see more options. So you hit next. And now it's going to give me some options. And so if I look right here, look what it's doing. So it's giving me the same exact version on the other side. Oh. Look, see? Uh, yeah. The same cut? Yeah. yeah. It's on the same one. So. This is just reusing the same one in the same orientation. I can also tell it to flip it here, and now look at it, it flips it the other way. But it's that you're still using the same exact one. Or I can tell it to go that way. Or I can tell it to go that way. But it's still reusing the same component, the same part. And you can even see it, they say the component, right? I, if I click this one though, now I make the mirror image part. See? Now it's the mirror image one. And on these ones, I could pick an alignment reference and actually change how it's aligned on that mirrored version if I wanted to just reuse the same one. I'm going to say there, okay. I can either hit next and ask you what I want. And yes, I wanted to create. So we're going to talk about con configurations in CAD 20. It's a way of having multiple versions of a part in the same file. But for right now, we're gonna create a new file and you can tell it's either add a prefix or a suffix or have a custom name of what the new file is gonna be called. It says I can't be called tab because there's already one called tab open. But I'm just gonna tell it to do a suffix of called dash mirror. Right, so now it's gonna make a new file for me in the same folder. With that and it's going to put it automatically in my folder where I have all this stuff already saved by so saying next and blah, blah blah yeah that's all good so say okay and there I go and you can see that it is also stuck it does have the but from being mirrored it's it is now mirrored, like it is and it's in that position I don't need to add enough more joints to it or anything like that. You can, but you can see here, mirror component, it's got that. I hit save. And so it hasn't actually made the file yet. If I look at my folder, I don't have, oh, I guess it did already make it. Um, but it's just making sure, hey, do you want to make sure that you, si you save this with that? So save yes, save. So now I have my folder here with this assembly, my mirrored part, and I can open that. Also just grab it and drag it. Does any empty space here? And there's that part. See, it's coming from mirrored one. 
There it is. But I could go in here now and say, on the mirrored version, I want something extra. I want it to be exactly the same, except I want one extra fillet for some reason. That's save. Oh, it sees that it's changed, say yes. And so now you can see my original version here, the mirrored version there with the new fillet. Yep, I did it to the mirrored version. Yeah, let's see that. So if I wanna open up these files, I can go and open it. I can also just right click on the part and say, open part. And it's gonna open that file. Or I can right click on it and I can say, edit part. And it grays out everything else. So you can see it's got this little symbol here. And over here, it's blue. That's telling me that I'm editing this part now within the assembly. So now I can go in and we add a fillet back here. So you finish. And then update. You can see that it did carry through to the mirrored part also. So the mirrored part is an exact copy of the original one, plus whatever you do in it. Any questions there? Changes up. Yep. Yep. So one other thing would be, what about screws and stuff, right? Yeah. Is that what you're gonna ask? No. Oh. What are you gonna ask? No. Because it, that's just taking whatever the finished saved part is, and it's mirroring that. Because the yeah, because it's the mirrors happening here in the assembly. It's just looking at the part file in whole. Yep. So remember, SolidWorks, the, the your timeline is over here on the left. So it's more of the the browser tree of your features you've done on this part. So for downloaded parts, go to master, just like normal, but and just go to the straight website, right? So just go to Master.com. So the full website. You don't. You're not stuck in a little box. Find what you want, and then you've got lots of options. So they have the SolidWorks file here. There's my SAT file, my step file, the step no threads. I kind of like that file. If you're making drawings, just drawings, I like the no threads one because the drawings are correct. Remember, going back to the threads, we don't. Go detail and throw threads on a drawing. That's not the preferred way. The preferred way is simplified, which is just the hidden lines, right? It makes the drawings less busy. So if I use the no thread button, then that's automatically like that. Um, so I'm gonna show you both ways, just what they look like. <clears throat> so if I go in here and I insert a component, I'm gonna pick this, the SolidWorks part. I'm gonna open that. Set it down and see I've got the threads. If I go to insert component, I come in here and I go to the, to say all files. Now I can see that step file, open it. It has to load it. And then there it goes. So this one has a little line there because of the, the way the model is done. And kind of a split here. So we can, we can load, load with this, but I can also fix this, make, take, I can take the threads away. Um, so either way you want to do them, then both will mate the same. I can pick there and pick there, line it up, then pick there, pick there, put it underneath. And it can rotate. So on this one, it's not symmetric, and so I might want to add some alignment to it so it's not just some random spot, right? So I'm just going to go in and under that, making sure I pick the right one. 
I can go in and grab its plane. So like that plane right there. And line it up to that plane. There's some people that like to, to make these all like 45 degrees. So the, the screws are not vertical, but they're, I don't care. But make, I like to be, have them all the same. Not just at random angles. I like to make them all look the same. Um, but that's how you would build three, three mates to, line, to make that screw fully constrained. And save, said that new stuff is in there, save it. That way it knows that everything's working together. <clears throat> and so this one, I wanna take the threads out. So how can I edit this screw? Yeah, so I can right click on it, or I can right click on it over in the browser, and I can either open the file or I can edit it here. Either way works. I'm just gonna open it just to make it a little bit easier. So I've got this, and you can see I've made some folders. So I, we haven't covered this yet, but in SOLIDWORKS you can make folders and kind of sort stuff. But here's that where it did the sweep to cut the threads. So I'm just gonna right click on that and suppress. Just turn that off. And then if I go up to here and go to insert features, patients, there it is. Cosmetic thread, pick on it, pick on the edge, and say okay. Maybe it's a um, where'd it go? Oh. One. I guess it didn't like that. Insert, patience, cosmetic thread, grab that edge. Tell what it is. So quarter twenty. Right. I think it, I think it did it. Um. Because if you just do this thread up here, that's going to make actual threads, like actual cut threads. So we don't want that one. But that that cosmetic threads is where we want to go. Yes. Yes. So now it's fixed in the assembly. So either way. Um, shadow should, should, I guess. No, the shadow's just rough. <laughs> but I can do the same thing to mate that. So mate here, the bottom side. A OK. An axis to axis. Okay, and the X to get out of it. Okay. Yep. Overall. It's individual mates. Yep. And then I can pattern those to the same other side from a mirror. I can just pick a mirror plane. And then compose to mirror that one and that one. Okay. And just by doing okay, it automatically just reuse them. So if I don't go through the next steps, it's not gonna make another file, it's just gonna reuse the same one, because that's always the first option. If I go into it to make sure, I hit the next button, you can see that it's going to use one of these two. I want it to be that way. I want it to be actually mirrored. So that second one is usually the option you're using like that. So you can go in here and check and see how it how it's looking. 
Okay. There we go. Any questions on mirroring? Yeah. 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 No. So I would leave them off. The only real reason to have the threads is if you're when you're doing the rendering. Uh, so like you're taking making a picture, which we're already, we're gonna do next week, or if you're actually gonna print it out. If you're gonna three D print it, then you have to have the threads model. But on the drawings, it's better just not to have them because because yeah, because we don't need to see the little marks. We can see just a cylinder. Be like, this is a screw, and then right in your notes, you're saying you're gonna call out quarter twenty panted Phillips in the notes, so we know okay what that's we know what it is. You know it's a screw. You don't have to see the lines like you know. Hey, oh, that's a screw. Yeah, yeah, and it's and it's easier to select it if there's no threads, right? Yeah. Right, because if there's threads and it's kind of offset, and you have to try and worry about where you're picking. If there's no threads, you just pick the cylinder. Um. Uh, well, I'm not sure. We'll probably not do the drawings in SolidWorks. Probably wait until CAD 20 to do SolidWorks drawings. What? 